video, we wondered what kind of mathematical equations are behind operational models of all type of natural disasters, such as tsunami wave propagation, uh, earthquake, uh, volcanic lava propagation after volcanic eruptions, uh, snow avalanches, landslides, debris flows, um, and also flooding. Yes, um, it's actually this type of equations. Yeah. <laughs> um, and now I will explain you why it's exactly this. Um, people use these models and not other type of methods. So for this, let's see one video. Um, this is the artificial snow avalanche produced in Swiss mountains. So uh, engineers and scientists, they made an explosion at the top of the mountain and it was a dry and cold day. And this is why the type of avalanche created was in a turbulent type. Uh, if it would be another sunny day, then it would be uh, maybe wet avalanche. But this day, you see there are structures, vortex structures are formed. So how to um, create a digital twin of this uh, phenomena, which will be used to create uh, avalanche danger maps? Uh, so there are several ways to model uh, ways to model it from a mathematical and numerical point of view. One way is to uh, model every single particle of the snow avalanche, every single snowflake. And this, for example, we can do with SPH methods, smooth particle hydrodynamics, and we um, model snow avalanche as a collection of spheres which are propagating. But then you need to uh, simulate uh, millions of uh, particles, and it's uh, computationally expensive. You need supercomputer, and engineers they don't necessarily have supercomputers to to they they just have a laptop, and they need to run hundreds of simulations per day to create danger map. So this is why the SPH method is not really um, operational. Uh, uh, 3D, three-dimensional, multi-phase navier stocks are also expensive. And uh, this is why people really love shallow water equations. Uh, it's depth averaged navier stocks. So how you, you do that? You uh, suppose that wave lens is much larger than fluid depth. So you introduce a small parameter epsilon. Uh, for example, let's say that even if for tsunami wave, even if the ocean depth is one kilometer, but tsunami wave length is uh, 100 kilometers, then parameter epsilon is still small. Uh, so, and uh, by uh, depth averaging of Navier stocks, you uh, get this simplified model, uh, this one, <laughs> yes. And um, H here is a free surface. It's actually the interface between um, air and snow. So you don't need multi-phase model, you just uh, solve this equation for the surface. And U is the uh, depth of rigid velocity. Um, yes, so this system of equation is uh, of hyperbolic uh, type and it's conservation laws of mass, momentum, energy. And actually here I, I represent shear shell of equations which you also um, take in account the uh, vertice formation. And P here is the shear stress tensor. 